Unlike other discursive formations, in the thematic category gluttony there was a complete enunciative consistency of the social representations of the film excerpts found. First, it is worth noting that the term obesity refers to a certain characteristic of body composition, while the term gluttony refers to eating behavior. The statements, therefore, associate a certain bodily condition with a certain way of acting. In all nine passages found, the burly character is represented with excessive eating behavior. All thematizations were indirect in relation to the corporeity of the characters. It should be noted that, although consistent, the theme had relatively few occurrences, when compared to the number of excerpts from other discursive formations. When analyzing the historical trend, there was an increase in the number of themes in the period of silent cinema. It is also necessary to point out that gluttony, in this case, was not linked to Christian theology or the idea of sin, as it was in the medieval period. To illustrate the schematic category, three excerpts were chosen. In the first, the short film by Georges Bailey's Entrée Calais at Duvers, from 1897, one of the passengers of a ship with great tribulation is represented with an artificial filling in the trunk. He is seated at a table and is served by another man. While the whole crew is agitated, disturbed, he does not stop eating and drinking. Although it is not an excess in quantitative terms, it is a greedy eating behavior due to the situation. The second excerpt selected as a representative is from Charlie Chaplin's 1916 film, Behind the Screen, which the burly actor Eric Campbell represents one of the studio's workers. At lunch break, he starts taking pies out of his bag and the amount of food is impressive, especially when compared to the tramp, placed on his left. The last representative of this discursive formation that states that burly people overeat is a passage from the film Out West, from 1918, by Roscoe Arbuckle. The rogue protagonist, traveling on top of the train, steals, through an upper hatch, the food of three men. The chubby man takes over and prepares a huge sandwich, with the bread that was intended for three men, 